The recent local government elections in New South Wales may have implications for federal politics. Sydney's West was once a Labour stronghold, but one council has elected a Liberal mayor who is also a Muslim. Liverpool in Sydney's West has traditionally been the Labour Party's heartland. But after decades of successive Labour councils, there's a change. The robes once worn by former Labour opposition leader Mark Latham are now worn by a Liberal. We have a lot of people who it's the first time they voted Liberal. Mayor Ned Manoon is a US-born Lebanese-Australian Muslim. People want a change of attitude, they want a fresh approach and that's what we offer them. So are you saying that people from uh, Liverpool area were disaffected by uh, former Labour governments? 100%. You know, for 21 years we've had a Labour mayor in Liverpool and they've, they've, people here feel neglected. With swings of between 5 and 10% in ethnically diverse areas like Blacktown, Bankstown, Parramatta and Campbelltown, a focus on true representation, especially in socially dynamic areas, has never been stronger. The latest census data revealed that more than 70% of people in Liverpool said that both their parents were born overseas, as compared to the national average of 32%, with Arabic being the most spoken language in the home other than English. Professor Kevin Dunn is a social researcher of attitude changes in migrant groups. The ALP would find it harder to automatically rely upon the votes of immigrant groups as they become non-immigrants, particularly if they've uh, experienced a fair degree of social mobility. And there are some common misconceptions of migrant attitudes. If you ask ordinary Muslims, what's the number one issue for you and your family? It's, ec it's the economy and jobs. Uh, what's the number two issue? It's education. Um, right down the bottom of the scale are international events. Labor MP for Chifley in Sydney's West, Ed Husick, was the first Muslim MP and he welcomes diverse Liberal candidates. I think the big thing, and particularly within the Labor Party, has been a focus to uh, work with a variety of groups, ensure that you know, representation's there and that you don't take uh, people for granted. They thought this was uh, their, their heartland, you know, this should have been the jewel in their crown. However, they've let it down, they've let it run down, they haven't done anything to work for it. Regardless, as the demographic rapidly changes, so will political representation. And those mainstream political parties that don't do that will bloody uh, lose from not doing so. Andy Park, World News Australia. And you can go to our website to view an interactive Q&A with the newly elected Muslim Liberal Mayor of Liverpool.